I'm trying to install Windows 90 or Windows XP I should say on this computer. It's got an Adaptec 3210S that's a 3210 Sierra RAID controller and I don't think Windows can understand how to work with that controller although I'm seeing some conflicting results here. I have some drivers from Adaptec and when I try to use those drivers during setup it complains that Windows already has newer drivers built in. Both the Windows built-in drivers and the Adaptec drivers that I downloaded do exactly the same thing. I've pressed F6. It doesn't ever really tell you if that was successful or not. Alright, well it was successful. I'm going to specify additional device. And there it is. That's the driver that I downloaded from the Adaptex site. And it says the driver I've provided seems to be older than the Windows default driver. I'm going to use the driver on the floppy anyway. Now maybe I did that wrong, I have no idea. I'm not real familiar with this Windows stuff. I've probably installed XP half a dozen times and I don't recall it ever going like this. but possibly I put the disk in and let it install and walked out of the room and never got to see any of this stuff. I have no idea. This computer originally ran Windows 2003 I tried installing Solaris 10. Solaris does not work with this same RAID controller. I tried a different RAID controller that was supposed to work with Solaris and that did not work. And here's the results I get. Now maybe this is because the RAID array is not partitioned and formatted, I have no idea. I wouldn't think I should have to do that to install the operating system, but I could be wrong. There is a logical device on the RAID array. But as I was saying, I was unsuccessful getting Solaris 10 to run in this machine without spending an absurd amount of money on, on different uh, RAID controllers to try out. So I gave up and that's why I'm installing XP. I actually have a possible use if this thing will work to run XP on here so if I can get it to work that'll be great. If not I guess I'll put this thing back on the shelf and not do anything with it again. NetBSD also does not support this RAID controller. Now the other one that I purchased back when I tried to run Solaris 10, I don't know where that is. NetBSD will probably support that. If I ever find it, I could I could go that route. 
but I don't particularly need another machine running NetBSD at the moment. I do need need one running XP that runs faster than the one that I have currently running XP. So that's that. If anybody has any ideas what I'm doing wrong here, I'd appreciate some advice. Thank you for watching.